In a far-off kingdom, there lived a beautiful young girl named Cinderella. She was the only child of a widowed king who had married a wicked stepmother, Lady Tremaine, and her two daughters, Drizella and Anastasia. After the king's death, Lady Tremaine took over the throne and treated Cinderella poorly, making her do all the household chores and treating her like a servant. Cinderella's days were filled with endless drudgery, and she had no time for her own happiness or self-reflection. She was always busy cleaning, cooking, and doing laundry, never stopping to think about what she truly wanted from life. She felt like she was just going through the motions, never taking the time to be honest with herself about her own desires and dreams. One day, the king's royal advisor, Grand Duke, announced that the king's son, Prince Charming, was looking for a bride. The prince was known for his kindness and generosity, and many girls in the kingdom were eager to catch his eye. Lady Tremaine saw this as an opportunity to marry off one of her daughters to the prince and gain more power and wealth. Cinderella, however, had other plans. She had always dreamed of attending the royal ball and meeting the prince, but Lady Tremaine forbade her from going. Cinderella felt trapped and alone, stuck in a life that wasn't hers. She began to realize that she had been living someone else's dream, not her own. As the day of the royal ball approached, Cinderella's stepsisters prepared themselves for the big night. But Cinderella was left behind, stuck in the kitchen. Just as she was about to give up hope, her fairy godmother appeared, transforming a pumpkin into a beautiful carriage, mice into horses, and a rat into a coachman. Cinderella was given a beautiful gown, and off she went to the royal ball. At the ball, Cinderella and Prince Charming danced the night away, falling deeply in love. But when the clock struck midnight, Cinderella had to leave abruptly, leaving behind one of her glass slippers. The prince searched the kingdom for the girl whose foot fit the slipper. And eventually, as they prepared for their wedding, Cinderella realized that she had been living a lie, pretending to be someone she wasn't. She had been so focused on pleasing others that she had forgotten to be honest with herself. She had to confront the fact that she was not the same girl she used to be, and that she had been living a life that wasn't truly hers. In the end, Cinderella learned to be honest with herself, to listen to her own heart and desires. She realized that she didn't need to conform to others' expectations, but instead, she could create her own path and live her own life. And so, she and Prince Charming lived happily ever after, free to be themselves and live their own truth.